Alrighty, turn 107, March 23rd, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage Logic does to us. Alright, auto flip the dot base in the DEI. Bunch of Coast Watcher reports. Uh, destroyers. Yep, I think he's coming for Rockham Rockhampton. So glad I'm not in those shallows waters. Let's see, bunch of light cruisers, seaplane tender, and bunch of destroyers. That has to be a covering force. Holy cow, I hit a destroyer. Interesting, it looked like, I mean, the graphic shows me hitting the torpedo in the, in the bow of the ship. You had to do damage to the engines. <laughs> All right, looks like I got a strike in and no return tack. Let's test this and see if it sinks. It does, nice. Oh, heavy cruisers here too. Alright, daylight. Coast Watcher reports. Damn! Day of the uh, destroyers being hit. Really? All right, let's listen and see if see if we sink. Yep. Okay, so we're one one. Hey, okay, sweeping Rockhampton. All right, come on. Little P, little P, PBs there. Yep, get them guys, get them. Nope, really? It doesn't even look like we, uh, we attacked.
Now those are lies. Holy cow. That's at least three carriers. Akagi, I didn't saw you, hear you, Hosho, hear you. All right, I see what's going on there. He got mini KP mixed in a Ryuju. So my guess right now is three fleet carriers and at least three CVLs here. Which means he has three fleet carriers up at the other, up by India. Is that Akagi or Kagi Kaga that was, I think it was Akagi here. Which means Kaga... Zukaku and Shokaku are up by by uh, India. Just hitting the air base. Okay. So he's definitely invading. And if he he'd hit the uh, factories and stuff, if he was gonna just bomb it. Come on, let's do some damage. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Two of them. That, that should be a dead, P, dead uh, PB. Hole three. Straight ahead is the best strafing because then you have the whole ship to hit. That's five bombs, six bombs, <laughs> little overkill here, seven. All right. Second strike on this guy. Let's see if we can hit him. Ah, machine guns are hitting him. Machine guns, but make bomb noises? Interesting. All right, we strafed them. Put a bunch of 50 cow into them. Because my escort's gone now. Damn it. Ah, he's bombarding, huh? No one's home, but he's bombarding. Six heavy cruisers. 
I did some damage to my troops and hit some industry too. Oh yeah, just take you know have four or five attacks. Why why not, right? Now he'll sink with the kill all the troops. Oh nope. Hey, more Japanese sub action. Why not? Oh, you gotta get another destroyer? I tell ya, it's ridiculous. His subs are just ripping me apart. Can't get rid of these damn subs, no matter how many ASW ships I use. Forty-eighth division. damage uh, he should smack me here I don't know hopefully our men will uh, run or not run but be, be uh, destroyed but we'll see one surrendered looks like one might have been destroyed nope all of them okay Will this guy survive? I think he did. Yep. One or two were destroyed, the rest fled. One destroyed, the rest fled. All right. are down to zero pretty even losses I'll probably take a next turn Takes Palmers and North. All right, we'll expand some bases, do some production, then we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, and go over to the after action. We'll take a look at that invasion of Rockhampton. Alrighty, uh, overall a slow turn with a lot of sub-action. 
and he has finally played his hand, at least the hand concerning Australia. I still think he has cards to play against India, and we will go over that as well. So score-wise, he went up 310 points. We went up four. In the air, we lost nothing. He lost one to Flack, three to Ops. Let's take a look. He lost a Dinah to Flack, a Betty, a Jake, and a Babs to Ops. Let's look at our incoming uh, reinforcements. Error, we got, okay, to one day to Brisbane. That's just a transfer. Eight days is our next. Any new actual ships, I mean ships, air, uh, aircraft. Nothing great there. 12 days, we get a bunch of sky trains, which will be nice. I can use those up in China. Well, not China, but India to, to fly supplies in, into China. But nothing really combat useful. I mean, the Wellingtons will be nice. I don't know what a Texan is. Is that a fighter? Yeah, it looks like it. Two thirty caliber m Brownings? What the kind of crappy fighter fighter is that? That should be a Japanese fighter. Uh, let's see. 2P Buffaloes. Recon, okay. And I think that's Mitchell PR2's recon, too. Yep. All right, so we're going to get some, some, some recon units. That That's good. We, get, we can use them. Let's see. In let's see ship losses, there were several ships sunk this past turn. We lost a destroyer. Um, he lost a PB, and he lost a destroyer as as well. I'm surprised it doesn't show it here, unless. Well, it didn't didn't say it was sunk. We heard we heard it sink at, afterwards. So that's probably why. <coughs> Incoming ships for us. 78 days till the Wasp. And that's really about it that's of any real note. Um, an AO, a tanker, a couple destroyers here and there. We have a couple cruisers coming in, some subs. We really got nothing major coming in until what? The Illustrious? Yep, right there. 35 days out. By then, we'll probably be fighting for, uh, for uh, India. On the ground, two days to another core in Chang Chongqing, which we could definitely use. And then, then some troops in San Fran, and another uh, uh, headquarters at Chongqing. We could definitely use all the units we can in China right now. I'm trying to get them all killed off so we can so they, they'll come back at like this strength right there, 257. That's that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and pull up Combat Reporter. We'll take a look at that. I see. You see a bunch of uh, ASW, our sub-attacks. Yep. That one proved uh, useless. This one here, we damaged the sub, I-3. Then he came back. We attacked again. Um, let's see, up at uh, Bora Bora, he attacked the destroyer, put a torpedo into it, which actually sinks it. Then he came back and put a couple t couple shells into a, a big fat AP, and then, and, then a, and then a torpedo. Which, I was just trying to pull these troops off here, I've been trying for forever, and I just can't get them off because he keeps killing my ships. I just, my ASW forces are just doing crap. They're really not doing much against his subs. <coughs> Off the coast of of, of Colombo, and he fired at an, at one of my AKs. He missed, which is good. These guys are are uh, are uh, are fleeing. They were supposed to be following an ASW task force, so I'm not sure what happened there. Why the ASW task force didn't pick this guy up? At Rockhampton, um, we encountered several uh, Japanese task force. Here one, here's one right here. And the same one again, we hit the destroyer with a torpedo, which did sink it. And then we spotted these guys coming in. Let's see, other, Lo Yang, we're surrounded. He bombarded Rock, Rockhampton. Did a pretty good job of it, too, but he has six heavy cruisers and six, six destroyers. Got 500 casualties. He had some light industry, airbase, so forth. 
put a big whooping on 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 the base. Um, as a bang, he attacked but did not take the base. He took Palmerston north in the, on the north island of, of, of New Zealand, which cut off the troops I have fleeing there. Uh, the units there fled south, so they'll go to Wellington, and we'll sit there until he comes over and, and, and destroys us. At Lo Yang, he attacked. We withheld, but that unit I wish would just die already. So that way we can just get him back. He attacked that band Banjer Mason, dropped the force to zero, did some pretty much even losses. So probably next turn he'll take the base. Up in China there was multiple attacks. Here's one here in northern China, where he destroyed all three units that were there. These guys were all beat up. Maybe maybe one assault assault strength between all between all all three. He attacked here near near Cyan, beat up beat my guys up again. One was destroyed, five of them fled. He bombarded here near near uh, Changsha. This unit is pulling back, but he I left him in combat mode so he won't take massive losses if he gets attacked. Near Ian Kang, he uh, let's see, no, nope, we attacked there trying to get our units killed. Didn't I mean we we lost we got a bunch uh, disabled in that, but. Not, not, not much killed. Up here in the mountains, he bombarded, did a little bit of damage. And here in, in uh, near Hamilton, he attacked us there heavily with, with two, two divisions plus an HQ and wiped these two units out. Amphibious, he landed at, at Damar and he landed at Rockhampton. 400 casualties on the landing. He landed the 48th Division, the 64th Naval Guard, the 65th Naval Guard, the 67th, the 2nd Reading Re Regiment, the 63rd. There's a base force. Yep. All right. So you can see he landed quite a few troops. I'm sure that's only the first wave. In the air, he bombed a bunch of our bases. He bombed the heck out of Rock Rockhampton from his carriers. From what I can tell, he has three full three fleet carriers there, and at least three light carriers. Let's see, he bombed troops up in northern Australia. He bombed fleeing troops. He bombed the airfield at Bandawing. Um, we did fly some P-40s and naval attacks, trying to clean up these, these stupid P PBs from our bases. Um, we managed to sink one off the, off of Palm Island right here. We hit it with seven bombs total out of eight planes, so that was a good run there. Then up at Carnes, we attacked twice. The first wave missed completely. The second wave came in, didn't hit with any bombs, but we did land nine fifth, fifth, 50 cows on it. So, you know, at least a little bit of damage. Signal intelligence. Let's see. Radio. Okay, nothing super fancy there. Okay. Moving to Darwin. Moving to Rangoon. Alright, this is what we're looking for. See if we can spot any major forces and no we do not he's planning to attack on sending yeah i knew that all right all right ops reports flying supplies into china base force destroyed near rockhampton no supply yep one uh, base force oh, is upgraded task force is being spotted and arriving some submarine information sightings Replacement, one another another P forty into the pool, six more in the pipe. The twenty fifth two hundred and fifty fourth armor brigade took replacements. Uh let's see nope. N nope, there's the CO Glasgow re finished its repairs at Columbo, which is probably just in time to get the hell out of there. Let's see an AK repaired at Pearl. Uh, there's two destroyers. These two destroyers at San Fran just completed their upgrades. So we, we're 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 really crushing this list down. 
PBY uh, down for maintenance. We admitted to losing the destroyer. Most of these Japanese uh, rep uh, ship reports are fake. Intel, let's see, Nagasaki, Suva. So pretty, pretty even. We, we built some forts. He built some airfields. Okay, combat. Yep. Interesting. We didn't get credit in the uh, in, in, intel for the enemy destroyer, but it says it's reported been sunk. Maybe it'll show up next turn then. Coast Watchers and Arrivals. Um, that's just a fragment. Those are fragments. Uh, that's a new headquarters, and that's a new base force up in China. Not, I'd rather have two more cores than that, but, you know, you only you get what you get. All right, let's hop back in the game. Let's go up into Burma here. Not much same old, same old, but this is what I'm talking about. These are not CVEs. I mean, I guess they could be. I'd be very surprised if that's all the carriers he's coming up here with. That's pretty low. Detected that. Did not detect that. I'm not sure where he's going. He might come up here and head west to Ceylon or make him up here and hit one of the, probably one of these two bases here if he's landing. Or maybe come up and just go right, right for Diamond Harbor. It's hard to say. I guess we will be finding out soon what he's doing there. Down in Sumatra, not much going on here. So Bang's still holding on. A couple bases along the western edge that haven't been taken yet. There's nothing there, but they're just waiting. In Borneo, um, we have three bases left. Uh, four if you count this dot base. Um, two are un unoccupied. One has some troops there. We're trying to hold off these uh, enemy troops. We probably won't. We got a unit trapped here in the swamp. So it's just a matter of time before we lose this, and those guys will just end up dying off. Java's all gone, other than Banduin. Hey, all right, we can we built a, some some fort. All right, Celebus, we have a little bit uh, stuff there. We have one base. We're about to capture an, an, another base down in northern Australia. All right, I do not see these guys moving at all, and now they're just magically here. Sometimes I really hate it because you just can't tell if they're moving or, or not. And he'll, let's see, this guy will get away and this guy won't. Great. He has a bunch of aviation support. I tell you, I can't get any avi some aviation support at all down here. He keeps destroying them. It's, I don't know. I mean, I got a little bit here maybe. No, not really. Just some en engineers and seven. Exactly what this one guy will move. Uh, this is really making me mad. But I believe he's within range of my B-17s now. So if, they, if he is, we will bomb the hell out of him. Here, tenant, anything repaired? Nope. All right, West Coast here, Perth. We're just trying to clean up some subs. Is this guy coming in? Yep, there's the 51st. Most of the 51st Hanan uh, Division. The one reinforcement from the invasion of New Zealand, that and 40th was it. We got how much supplies? I was not going to tell me there, but what do you got? One, two, three, four, about 5,000 tons of supplies with, with, with them. Back off to the west. Here comes the rest of, there comes some aircraft with a bunch of supplies and the rest of the, the, the <coughs> oh, excuse me. Rest of the division coming with another four, four or five thousand tons of supplies. Not much going on here in the South Australia, but up here, he had a PB at Palm Island. I killed it. He has one here at Cairns. We will we'll try again to, to kill it again this turn. And he landed at Rockhampton. So, I have nothing there. Let's see. All the industry is destroyed. Excellent. The airfield is destroyed. Let's see. Do I have anything set there? No. Okay, good. The base is just totally wiped out. He will take it. He may auto-flip it. He may not. 
But the only real bad part is, is that he's pretty much cut Australia along the coast in half. I, I kind of thought that's what he was going for, but there's really nothing I could, I could do. So I need to figure out where I want to put all of my my defenders here. I am kind of sad that my that my subs here didn't get any any action on his invasion fleets. Got another sub here patrolling, but typical for the war, my subs aren't doing a damn thing. He did land a paratrooper unit, so we gotta be careful of him grabbing bases that we leave unoccupied, like right here, Charlieville. No one's there. I know it's not a great base, and he might be able to grab it, but it doesn't really, it doesn't help or hurt us that that much. But it's just one of those things. This is why I have a unit here, just to keep this dot base, just to keep it alive. But we will see. I mean, if I can get him to come south of of uh, of Brisbane, I think that's what the. Let me see reinforcement lines, Australia. Yeah, one hex south of Brisbane. If I can get him to enter this hex here, I'll get division J. I'll get a. I'll get more, more, more divisions. I think most of them are off map again, but they will help. Australia is pretty big, so unless he's planning on coming over here and taking the west coast by uh, naval in invasion. Worst case is I, I lose the northeast, probably hold the south and the west, and as long as I keep these bases here in the middle open, uh, my my, uh, my pipeline is, is still a, a, around. Down here in uh, New Zealand, the North Island is almost completely gone. He took Palmerston, you see here. These units are all trapped now. This, these couple will escape over here, but it really doesn't do anything for them. Am I pulling any supplies out of there? No, I'm not. I was hoping to raise a supply pole here and pull them out of Wellington, but it does not look like I'm going to be able to. These guys cannot load any. I can't put them in any kind of a task force, like a fast transport or any or anything like like that. So I'm not going to be able to get any 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 supplies out of here or move any any of those any of those units over either. My construction at Tahiti and that over here in the Society Islands is going really slow. It's slow going building, and his subs are making it a real pain in the ass. Yeah, this ship is gone. I'll try to un I'll try to unload what what I can out of here. Just takes these guys, you know, a week or two to load anything off these out of these bases, and the game just puts these troops here. I mean, they, these these troops magically appear at at Bora Bora. How'd they get there? I mean, that's I don't know. I know they probably arrived. They probably um were. I mean, that's a U.S. troop, right? Yeah, I believe that's a U.S. troop. But they were just put. I mean. I'm sure they were dropped off, but it's like I can't get them out of there once once they arrive. I got nothing that'll load quickly that's small. I need like some landing craft, something like that. And of course, we don't have any. I uh, got more troops here. Let's go off the map. Probably nothing to arrive at Panama. Oh, we got one task force of finally arriving at Panama. It has two tank battalions. They will, it will go through the canal this turn and then head for Australia. You can see I got Lexington here, some destroyer battleships. All these guys, now that they're free, the KVs will go back to escort more out while these guys head, head off map for Australia. Moving more men and supplies out of the west coast. There's that stupid sub up here. It's a real pain in the rear. Off map up here. Looks like we pulled. We got this guy inbound in a month. I mean, everyone else that was at the UK is gone now. They are hauling hauling supplies out. Let's go take a look at China. I mean, overall, I am not doing a very good job defending the the uh, the uh, free world. But the North is holding at the moment. But I expect to lose uh, Lan Chao. We might be able to hold. 
Sending, that's because it's in the mountains. See, because that's desert rough, and this is, oh my god, I can't read that at all. It looks like, looks like a uh, mountain. So it'll be a little easier to defend. We're holding here. We're holding some here and here. We got, I mean, we just got butt kicked here, so our troops fled. We got some, we got this guy cut off. If we had any offensive attack, we would, we would maul this guy, but we don't. We're China. We got nothing. Let's see. Oh, well, we did get some supplies in. Good. Our men are kind of up out of the red, which is good. I, I still don't want to do any kind of attack. I want to, you know, keep those supplies to, for, for, for defense. I'm moving troops down in the middle here, trying to defend. He's, uh, let's see, he still only has those guys here. I'm moving a couple of the beat up units out of here. Hopefully we're still going to be able to hold it. We got some more reinforcements coming in from the north, about another 500 plus uh, assault strength. With that here, we should be able to hold here. I believe that's, okay, it's Woods Rough. I'm moving some, some units over here just in case he does break out. And he, that way he can't cut, cut across and cut all these guys off. You can see here this guy is pulling back. And that's about everything for the turn. If you enjoyed watching it unfold with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following along in the campaign and you have not subscribed, go ahead and, go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, you guys will be waiting around for the next turn. Until then, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.